Okay. I'd like to call this city council meeting, special city council meeting for order on April the 22nd, 2019. Madam Clerk, roll call. Yes, and uh, just to add, this meeting is for the purpose of an executive session. Madam Clerk, please. Mr. Brown? Present. Ms. Fields? Present. Mr. Lincoln? Present. Ms. Galloway? Present. Mr. Briggs? Present. Mr. Lincoln? Present. Thank you. Um, before public speaking, I would ask, is there any changes and or additions to the agenda. Hearing now that brings us to public, it brings us to public speaking. Mitch asked me to stand in for him. Okay. <laughs> and since we do not have any public speakers, uh, we will hear from our chief legal officer. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, City Attorney's Office is requesting an executive session for purposes of discussing pending civil litigation. And since having a open meeting would have a detrimental effect on pending litigation, we request that in a matter of uh, Mays versus Fields et al. This is case number 19-112-475-CZ. Executive session based on the reasons shared with, by the attorney. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Councilman Garrett. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Ms. Fields? Aye. Mr. Briggs? Aye. Mr. Lincoln? Aye. Mr. Briggs? Aye. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Ms. Worthing? Yes. Special Affairs Committee meeting to order. Roll call. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Mr. Lace. Present. Mr. 
Davis. Present. Ms. Vera. Present. Ms. Fields. Present. Ms. Wendy Carter. Present. Mr. Lincoln. Present. Ms. Galloway. Present. Mr. Briggs. Present. Ms. Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any um, requests for changes and or additions to the agenda? Hearing none. Hold up. Could you hold up a minute? Because I just got this agenda with this in my mail. Madam Chair, we will have additional council discussion. At the end, it's on the agenda. So I don't have to do anything. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, so we are at resolutions. Madam Chair. Mr. May. Yeah, I would move. Um, well, I'm on this um, anti bullying, which is 180590. You know, I don't want people bullying me. 8118059, the harassment. You know, I don't want people harassing me. 190011, the drug free workplace thing. Um, that's going to be interesting. But I don't think we didn't really did it because we ain't getting through no committee. So I would move 1805901805911190011. Um, I would refer it back to committee. I have a motion to move it back to committee. Second. I second that. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of moving this back to committee, say aye. 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 Those that opposed, nay. Any abstentions? It moves back to um, committee. I heard two people. Madam Chair. Mr. Mays. Yeah, I would move um, 190076.1. Um, I'm torn about this. Um, is anybody here who can speak on this, Steve, before I move it through you, Madam Chair, to Steve? This time, the resolution on shrinking Atherton Road and Dupont and all of that. Um, is that a problem if it go back to committee for discussion, or is it something that's in a time frame crunch? It's in a time frame because they're, you know, the work is going to get started soon. If we delay, we're going to delay state funding. Through you, Madam Chair, to the Vena wave in our hand. Um, I want to hand these out. Actually, um, because of everything we've been working on with that. Uh, anyway, this is a, it's part of a project that you already approved. This is just a technicality. According to Mark Davis, we talked about it with him. And this was something you guys approved back in December or something um, for the MDOT. So this is a technical part of that project. Um, so it's really not a standard of lane closure. It's really oh, something Madam that's Chair, a formality. We can move it back if we need to and on the floor. So I'm going to move 190076.1 to council. There's a motion to move this to council, Mr. Davis. Madam Chair, I second. You moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Yeah, Madam Chair. Mr. May. You know, I don't know. You know, they say it helps them get grant money, but I just don't even like Saginaw Street the way it's done. I don't know if I want to do parts like that in the area I represent. But I'll see what others say. They told me I could do it, and then if in the future it don't work, we could uh, put it back. So I want to clear that up a little more. Maybe by Council Rob Benzik or somebody will be here, but we'll see. So I'll be voting to move it to Council, but that don't mean I'm going to vote um, to pass it or might even try to send it back. But we'll see. I ain't tripping. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of moving this to Council say aye. 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 Any abstentions or any opponents? Madam Chair. I'd like to make a motion to send 190097 back to Finance Committee for a special order. There's a motion to move 190097 to Council for a special order. I mean, to Finance for a special order. Is there a second? 
Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Briggs, a second. I just have a quick question. Um, I thought Mrs. Wilcox said that this was going to be post postponed yeah, back to the. Um, yeah, so is that right? Yeah, just move it back and then we'll handle it. Yeah, because they're not using the money. So, Ms. Um, well, I know the last I heard they had decided to postpone it for a while, mm -hmm. but now it shows up again. So I don't know if that's mm -hmm. a new it's request. Well, we, I think we were going to request that last right. Wednesday. However, we didn't get to it. Right. To bring it forward or to postpone, no, to postpone it again? postpone it again. To postpone it. So we moving it back two weeks is fine. Right. Or well, to next Wednesday, I believe. Madam Chair. Um, are you doing anything? No. Um, I, through you to Mr. Branch, I would like to, since Ms. Wilcox isn't here, um, I'm glad that they themselves were looking at it, the department and or the developers, but I had many questions when I looked at this application that uh, still hadn't been answered, so I'm hoping that some of these things are going to be answered. For example, in the first half of the project, it's all using nonprofit companies that they've created to get the funding and build a grocery store, etc. And then at the end, they turn it over to a for-profit LLC. The same three principles are on all the nonprofits to now run at a profit. At the same time, uh, when you look at the finances, the city of Flint would be on the hook for $2.6 million as collateral but those three principals have not put a dime into the project that I'm aware of, that the documents they have given us. So I still have a lot of questions about this, so hopefully everybody will be pre prepared to discuss this. I just don't know if it's a, a good deal for the citizens in the city. Mr. Mays. Yeah, I do think it's a good deal for the citizens in the city of Flint through you, Madam Chair, to Mr. Branch. Is they still asking this to be postponed or yes. is it ready to move? No, we asking it for to be postponed. Okay, and so I've got some questions. I talked to the guy just this weekend. I think Jerry Winfrey called it and I was up there buying some neck bones. And I had her on the phone and so it's moving to her ward. So she met the guy and talked with the guy from Texas and her and I. And so I look at the store where I shop at that he has now. And, uh, you know, Pastor Saunders and them, I'm going to take a good, strong look at this. And I like projects where people don't have to sometimes put up money and we assess them. Um, so I don't know the details whether people putting up money or not, but I would trade this. The only thing I might trade this for is a bottle of water factor. That's why I think the money is at in the city of Flint. I put the whole weight of the black rent money behind whether or not a part of the factory can make millions of dollars just out of the city of Flint. So that's I like economic development. I like this grocery store better than I like Auto World. And Auto World was $63 million and we took a chance on it. Y'all know where Auto World at now? You know how to get to it? So I'm going to take some chances on some folks when it comes to creative finance. And um, I'm an advocate for bottled water. I might have to do a distribution organization like Amway without the factory. And I'm probably going to call that meeting in the next two weeks. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. But I'm going to support businesses. And so, Suzanne, if Steve is right that this particular um, section 108 loan is to be postponed, then I'm going to vote to postpone it. Um, oh, I believe you, Steve. It's just a matter of she walked in and I'm trying to get out of here and go to the regular council meeting. So I'm putting it out there as I end up my spiel and look forward to Suzanne, special affairs, I mean, a special order in finance committee meeting. Whether the developer's ready, whether the preacher, the anybody ready, council is going to be looking for a update and communications about this um, at the next finance committee meeting and a special order. That's what I'm going to vote on. Madam Chair, I'm going to 
Ms. Mills made the motion. I think it's going to pass. Mr. Uh, Branch. I just want to request that if you have questions, could you get those to Ms. Wilcox prior to next Wednesday? The Wednesday meeting, so she, so she can come prepared. Thank you. Yeah, Madam Chair. To review with Ms. Wilcox. Ms. Wilcox, we backing up this $2.6 million Section 108 loan with future uh, block grant monies, correct? That's how it works. Correct. Okay, I'll be waiting for the discussion and the details as we move forward. Thank you. I'll be voting to move it to finance. All in favor of moving this to finance for a special order, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Not sure. It, it moves? Oh, are you abstaining? No. Oh, okay. So it moves to finance for a special order. Mr. Sierra. I want to move on 190148 and 190149, which are both public hearings for Jensen packaging to council. Mr. Briggs? Chair, it's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Yes, Madam Chair. Mr. Briggs? Who is paying the $10 million to upgrade this place? Where, where is the $10 million coming from? For um, this is private. Primarily. I'm sorry. You, you want to yeah, ask Ms. Wilcox? Through you, Madam Chair, mm -hmm. Councilman Briggs. This is privately financed through. Um, Phoenix Investors. Um, I think Councilwoman Fields is aware of this project, and um, Genesee Packaging is uh, one of the tenants that's proposed for this yeah. facility. So the city is actually um, that's that part of the financing is this um, um, this IFEC, but the majority of funding is coming from the um, investors themselves. Well, well, does the city have any cost associated with it? So what, what an IFEC does, and that's actually spelled out in your packet, it is an incentive um, to businesses. We are not paying for any costs associated with the redevelopment of the okay. facility, but there is an incentive associated with that. It freezes their taxes for a period of time. I sure it freeze a lot of taxes. We need to practice. That's all I've got. Thank you, Ms. Fields. Um, I just wanted to say that um, this project, basically, it's a company, they're on Dort Highway now, but they actually have four locales within the city, different parts of the city. And uh, I'm not sure how many people they employ right now, quite a few, but this is going to be one more additional site and we're going to be hiring 100 plus workers at a livable wage with benefits. So I, I think the benefits for our citizens, especially since the city's not really putting in any money, is going to far outweigh anything that we might think we're losing. Yeah. Any further discussion, Mr. Chair? Yeah. I, know, I know all of my colleagues know this, but the incentives that we give, such as um, freezing the taxes. That's just a tool that municipalities can use to boost their money. So that's never going to go We just have to decide whether we're going to do it. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of sending this to council say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Who's to council? Mr. Gear? Make a motion. We send 190144 and 190158 to council. There's a motion on the floor to move those to council. Is there a second? Mr. President. Um, it's been moved and supported. Um, if you guys don't mind, we want to hear from Davina. Um, we have an amended version of the 144 for the whole thing. Because I guess they discussed about changing the dollar amount. So you need to actually amend it um, to the point one. So amended to a point one. And can I just point out that there's an extra page on the back, two pages that don't belong there, so just disregard those two. They came in the packet and not copied them before I asked. Oh, and that's just, that has nothing to do with the resolution. They won't be a part of it. Okay. So just disregard that at the end. So, 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 so,
motion. Okay, so you made a motion. Mr. Garrett made a motion to amend 190 Kills the trees for sure. Like you say, it's interesting. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? I just have a quick question. Um, through me to Steve, I guess. Yes. Um, Steve, are the are they supposed to be signed by the board of commissioner, the sheriff, and anyone else? Not prior to us approving. Oh, not prior right. to approval. We get mm -hmm. those contracts signed after after it goes through the resolution process. Is there um, any further discussion? Yeah, I'm the amendment on this. From two million six forty. I mean, from two million six. 608 to add 40,000 for operating cost maintenance. maintenance. Yeah. So it changes it to 2648152 and it was 2608152. So this resolution says the city will be receiving funding from the state to pay the full cost of the contract and the sheriff receiving a contingent waiver from the Michigan Department of Corrections. So that means. Um, if we getting reimbursed or are we just spending it as we get it through you, um, Madam Chair, to anybody who know. Do we know how that's working mechanically? Anybody? He wants to know if we get a monthly reimbursement. I don't know. I'll yeah, have that answer. Yeah, because it says the agreement between the city and the county is contingent on the city receiving <laughs> funding from the state of Michigan. And I know what that means. If we don't receive funding, the deal could be over. We just are supplying the facility. Mm -hmm. And all of the funding is 2.64. Um, the 40, they even given that back to us. Do we know? That's for maintenance on the, if we have to do maintenance on that facility. That's our that. 40. Right. So that means a portion of it, the 40, from what I'm hearing, that's what we out of. <coughs> but no. we don't know. No. We ain't even no. out of that. No, we're that's not something out of that. they would put in the pot, but right. we would use it if need be right. for me. If all of these things that I'm hearing on the record is pretty cool when it's operating the same as before, I'll be supporting um, point one and any other point. Um, thanks. Miss Williams. Yeah, just, just one other item. Um, when you turn to the first page on the, the back of the resolution, there's a proposed budget. I am I'm still waiting on the county to add that item, the forty thousand to the actual breakdown here. But like the, we, we already have made an agreement with regard to that amount as well. I just wanted to point it out to you because it's not in there, so we'll we will add the corrected sheet that also represents the 40,000 here as well. It's in the contract also on um, page, two. Page, um, page two, paragraph four um, as well and throughout the contract. So I just wanted to, to mention that to you. We'll have the um, sheet um, adjusted to reflect that. Uh, I have a question. I guess to Ms. Wheeler, since my notes isn't here. Um, this is for the holding facility. Uh, what do they do with the internet? There's two grand here for internet provider charges. I'm assuming that's for staff and not for inmates. Yeah, that's for staff. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that. I mean, that's like for staff. You've got to watch things on the internet. No yeah. Game of Thrones. Okay. And all that. <laughs> That's the worst thing that, Well, <laughs> what, what exactly would they need? I mean, is there software involved between the county sheriff yes. and the city? Or? And also the police cars. So oh. when they're coming in, they can go on the internet and let them know we're arriving. Ah, okay. So that's what it's for. Thank you. I don't even throw them, I'm not going to arrest them. Madam Chair. <laughs> yeah, I would like to use this opportunity to speak on the record about not only the 72 hour holding facility, which this is. In theory, when a person is picked up, whether they held for 72 hours or whether they are held longer across the street, 
they don't have access to legal. They don't have, in my case, I didn't have a pen, a piece of paper, no access to no law books, legal. And we had a right to represent ourselves. That's a major problem for me. That's a major problem. And so I'm using this to highlight a flaw in the county. I want a people to have access to legal books. Now, I've read Bible books. They got them. And I wouldn't care if they had to set up a law library and send people could go in there for an hour. But I'm telling you, some of us are poor. Not poor, but we poor. And we don't have money to hire lawyers. I had lawyers come out the woodwork try to help me, but I can read sometimes, and I'm blessed. So I'm concerned about that. So I want to use this platform to send out to the county um, and I'll talk to Sheriff Pakel and others, but if I start beating the bushes, it's a legitimate cause. Folks should have access to basic legal reading and able to file motions while they presume to be innocent and they held in these county facilities. So just so you know, that's something I want to talk about. I want to push the fix because it tripped me out. They whisked me out of them courtrooms so fast and them shackles and handcuffs and orange and I couldn't do nothing legal. But when I was able to do legal, we won an appeal. And I see a problem in Genesee County. It might be a problem in other counties, but I didn't sound at the alarm. People need access to books law books when they house in the county presumed innocent. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the changes with the amendments going to council say aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Move to council. There are no appointments and now we're at ordinances. Mr. Point of order. Point of order. What's your point of order? Did y'all move that um, yes. Howard, David Howard, so it was in that same motion, not on the point one, we just voted on the point one, didn't we? We just amended this, didn't we? So, and so we ain't voted on the point one yet, have we? We thought that we were able to amend We just so voted on the point it. one. So now we what are we voting on? To move it to the point one to council? Do we need a different motion? So, so I would... Move. So that means that there needs there needed to be a substitute motion to or a separation that was not done. The motion was made to move one four four and one five eight, was which right. was a was agreed. And then you brought right. the and amended, thought, and so they made the amended. Man. We thought inside, so so it needs to be Let's separated. What the, do we need to do? Vote on the point. We need to amend. To point one and vote on that separate, and so, then you can move on both. We can, okay. But, so that was a so so. Madam we, Chair, Council Mays, can you just give me one I'm second? I'm going to make the motion. What, right, but so is it okay to say that what we just bid it on, I mean voted on, was the amendment? That's what I thought. So yes. now we were, we're doing both of them. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure we. Have we already sure. So we look. I make a motion to move one nine zero one four four point one and one nine zero one five eight to the council. In the motion. I'll second. Mr. Gear has seconded there is there any discussion. Hearing none, all in favor of moving those to council say aye. Aye. Any abstentions? Any any opposed? They move. So we have no appointments and we are at ordinances now. And the chair, Ms. Fields. Ms. Fields. I would move one nine zero one five nine to council. Madam okay. Chair, I'll second that. Mr. Briggs has seconded. There's a motion on the floor to move the ordinance to council. Is there any discussion? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Fields. Uh, I just want to make sure that so the one we're moving does have the corrected language, right? Mm -hmm. okay. No, doesn't. Yeah. 
This is a whole new one though. Oh, this is a new one. This is a whole new ordinance because the other one kind of died. So this is totally different. It doesn't matter. No amendments. This is what was submitted. This is the new language. Right. Hey, can we hear what's going on at the table? Everybody talking. I don't hear none of it. What is we discussing? Maybe Mr. Mays, if you would just. Um, no, if you would just Mr. Mays was just getting some clarification. Okay, well let me know what we clarify well, and all this whispering. Talk out loud. I want to know what's going Mr. on. Mr. Mays, please calm down. There's not, they're not I'm going to calm down. Madam Chair, we got a motion on the floor, right? Have anybody got the floor? Ms. Fields does, and she's okay. trying to get clarification. Then let's hear it loud. We, we, we what are we clarify? Point of information. What are we clarifying? Whether the changes that this council was saying they wanted as far as um, experience is on is the, the motion to send it back to committee. No, it's a motion to be. move it okay, on the floor. To get the thank floor. you, Mr. Mayor. No, thank you. You don't have to say thank you. It's a point of information. Don't talk, talk condescending or whatever the word is to me. Thank you. So I'm getting tired of you talking. Are you guys now. going to answer Ms. Thank you. question, Ms. Go ahead, Madam. Got time for you, Ms. You ain't no. Councilman May, you're not going to talk time to I'm going to warn you. Don't talk time to to me, Ms. Scold and Rob Bill. You're out of order. Okay, good. You out of order. Go ahead. You want a point of order. I'm going to appeal your ruling. Appeal it. I appeal. There's an appeal on the floor. Is there a second? There's an appeal on the floor. Is there a second? Madam Chair, sir. There's an appeal and a second on the floor. Councilman Mays was warned. And then he be, continued to be out of order. I said that he was out of order. He used, instead of an appeal, a point of order to say he was going to appeal my ruling. And I said, go ahead and appeal. So he is out of order. Ms. The Madam Clerk has the floor, and he continued to speak. And so that was my ruling. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I got some. Mr. Mays. Thanks for appealing that, Ms. David. I appealed it. Don't care if I win or lose. You gave a speech on talking condescending to Rob Benson. She spoke on that. This is not. My point of order, order, you out of order. That's your first warning. So you got a warning interrupting me. Mr. Mayor. And you I got your first warning. You're going to get a second one. And then I'm going to ask you to remove yourself. Who do you think you are, Miss Galloway? You can't have different set of rules for you and a set for everybody else because you think you sitting in a chair and can play dictator and bully. Now I'm here to tell you, when I call the first point of order on the point one and you talk condescending and try to take over, I left out to keep from cussing because I was cussing then and about to cuss now. You sat there and said what you wrote. I started mine and you done interrupted me and threw my whole talk off. That's what you do. You throw us off with that BS and then you want to warn us and bully us and which police was here to take us out. That's a trick bag, we call it in the street. I ain't down with it. I ain't down with it. Quit talking condescending to me. When I say point of information, you don't have to say thank you. That's condescending. You just let me deal with my point of information. I know your style. And everybody watching on TV know it because they talk to me about it. I wouldn't care if the appeal win or lose. Miss Fields, you think it's funny? It ain't funny to me. That's something funny between you and Gary. This is serious business. And we got enough time before 5.30 to deal with this chair. A chair that you like. I don't like her. She's not going to talk condescending, and you ain't neither to me. And as long as I got somebody on here to appeal that we're going to sit and talk about it. And Mr. Garrett, you think it's funny that I'm dealing with personalities after you done voted to illegally remove me as a chair. That's why y'all going to be in court, and that's why that's going to be amended too. Now, we're going to withdraw the appeal, Mr. Davis, and move on. I thank you for it. 
And if it can't be withdrawn without a vote, we'll vote on it. You say it can or can't. But I'm going to do it every time, and I appreciate y'all back up because you heard the talking and scolding Rob Bigsby, but she don't want nobody talking and scolding her. And I'm tired of Mr. Geller. And I'm tired of it. We talking to her and you consoling her and talking to her. Let her ears concentrate on the discussion. She needs it. Now, if you don't need to hear the discussion, turn the other way and let her hear it. But don't be playing games with our appeal, Mr. Guerra. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate what you were doing talking to Steve Branch and Angela and them the other day when we were talking. If she want a chair, focus on our lips and our mouth. Because we the ones who count. Withdraw the appeal and move on. Stop now. I object to the appeal being um, just without objection. I do object. Okay, then fine. We'll proceed with the damn appeal because you think you got votes from Gara and Fields. And so you want to object to withdrawing the appeal unprecedented. You put that foolishness in this spot. I won't vote for you again for vice. Don't call me no more, Miss Galloway. Will you support me? And every time you beating up on folks, I won't support you for dog catching. So we object. Let's move with it. It's going to be some more. You want this one? It's going to be some more. Every little tweet. Miss Smart know the rules. Now y'all see that, didn't you? So we gonna appeal. She ain't finna go on a wild ride. Is there any further discussion on the appeal? And I'm gonna tell you guys why I object to it. It is time for Mr. Mays to not get to violate the rules and then when he deems that he knows he is out of order and possibly doesn't have the votes that he gets to withdraw, it's not right. His behavior was out of order and I am asking that the appeal of the chair be honored. Miss, the Madam Clerk had the floor. I gave him a warning. I told him he was out of order, and he continued to point behave of the way that he did. Point of information. What is the point of information? Didn't I give you a warning when you interrupted me? So you got one, too. Thank you, Mr. Mays. Just so, so you that know. is the reason why I object. It is going to be a bunch of more reasons. Going. So is there support for the chair's ruling? All in favor of supporting the chair say aye. Aye. Those that oppose. Nay. And so there are five, Mr. Mayor. Point of order. What is your point of order? Now, if you got your first warning. Councilman Mayor. I'm asking the question. Okay, point appeal the ruling of the chair that she ain't got no ruling. You can't. I just did. You say you ain't got no you warning. I gave you one. I Councilman appeal the ruling of the chair. The chair. Um, is there a second? second? There's an appeal of the decision second. of the chair. There's a second. Okay, Mr. Mays can't rule me out of order in the middle of an appeal. I didn't do anything out of order. He was not sub he was not staying on topic with what the condescending of last week and what other colleagues said. And so he doesn't have he can show me in the rules where he can rule me out of order. And if, if he can show me in the rules. I will honor that. But that is why the chair does not believe that she has been moved out of order. Madam is there chair, any discussion? Mr. Mays. I guarantee everybody sitting at this table, the chair can't give you the flow and interrupt her. Interrupt you. She do it repeatedly. She argued her appeal. We sat here. Did nobody say nothing. The minute I started, she interrupted. I exploded and said, don't interrupt me. You out of order. I'm giving you your first one. Is no way a chair is immune to the rules. We don't have to look for that rule, Ms. Galloway. We know the basic rules. I see Gary shaking his head with you already. You find me, yeah, you was talking when she was talking, you shaking your head like she wasn't out of order. I seen you. She was dead out of order, interrupting me when I get the flow. Now she can interrupt you, she can interrupt Kate Fields, she can interrupt her. I ain't gonna let her keep interrupting me. And that's what she did when I got the flow to argue my appeal. She couldn't sit there. And I say, you're out of order, I'm warning. So if a chair can't be warned and ruled out of order, y'all show is hypocritical and discriminatory toward me. Mr. Gale, and the record is showing. 
Cause you sure voted yeah. for this chair cause y'all was trying to take something. Y'all, while you're speaking to Pastor Gilbert, Mr. Garrett, you stopped the subpoena with Go Governor Snyder. You stopped the subpoena with Amy Epke. You stopped the subpoena with Rich Bear and an investigative hearing because I was doing it. I was the chair. And Ms. Fields, you can point and make a mockery without saying a word about what I'm talking about, about that investigative hearing. You were never in the hearing. And if you and Gara and Griggs and Monica and whoever else vote, that a chair can give you the flow and interrupt and can't be warned, y'all foolisher than I thought. I already know that rule, and ain't nobody going to find that you can do that. Is there any further discussion? Page 19 of 23, public participation and maintenance of order. Maintenance of order and debate. The public and city council are both subject to the disorderly persons, persons, ordinance section 31 dash Point of information. What's your point of information? Don't that refer to you? Could you read that last part again? The public and the city council, and the city council. are both subject to point the disorderly persons. Are of you a member of the council? Okay. Thank you. The public and city council are both subject to the disorderly person, persons ordinance section 31-10 and the general code of conduct. Additionally, the chair or presiding officer has a responsibility and duty to enforce these rules and sanctions for the purpose of maintenance of order. Only the chair or presiding officer may determine and rule on who or what is in or out of order. Violations of this rule shall result in removal from the Point of information. What is your point of information? Do you, are you bound to rule on yourself as well when you out order? Councilman May. Point of information. What is your point of information? I'm just asking. You read them. So you argued. Are, they, are you bound by those rules? I am. Okay, now my question is this. No, you don't. Point of information. I got, I'll appeal no. that if you, I ain't taking the flow. These quick points. What's your point of information? And so, you have to enforce them too, don't you? I do. Even against yourself? I do. Okay. The rule says the chair or presiding officer, you guys, and that is what I did. I didn't do anything to Mr. Mays. He didn't have the authority because he is not the presiding chair and or he is not um, presiding over this meeting. So, and so that is why the, cho the charge. Nobody, for an information, nobody can call the chair out of order. That's what you say. You can but appeal. You, you did. I'm appealing. Let's did. see what they and do. And so now we're here. So, all in favor of supporting the rule of the chair. But you can interrupt me. Make no. it plain. That was my appeal that she said she went out of order for interrupting me. She can interrupt. And that's what I ruled out of order. She said she I just she want to did. repeat. He appealed saying that I should have a warning because he yeah, gave me you a warning. Make it plain. Don't skate and try to fix it. State my appeal. So, the, the chair's ruling is that the chair does not have... You can interrupt and not be out of order. All That's in favor of supporting the chair's ruling say aye. 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 Hold that opposed. Nay. The chair's ruling stands. So, um, we are at the last ordinance, Ms. Fields. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, um, Ms. That's correct. Yes. What I want you to are the ethics if, board. If keep could. watching. Mr. Mr. May, you are out of order. You're disrupting the meeting. Yeah, so do y'all. Your last, your last five. You don't give me no that. Look, Miss Galway, I can go home. I remove you from. I'm the meeting. out to cuss. Are you removed? Leave me. No, you remove. You remove. Then I want to see you do it. You go with that mess. Every word I say, talking to him or whatever. This is a setup. Y'all been trying to do it because of that lawsuit. I want the I, record to show that Mr. Chief Johnson show. and none of the police officers are willing to allow your lawlessness. You lawless. Don't show. accuse you me. We'll lawless. be in court. You lawless. You lawless. You Your a dictator. Have nothing to do with the fact that I don't appreciate your court. personal attacks. You out of order again. Remove Madam, yourself. Madam Clerk, please remove yourself as best as you Madam can. Personal in the attacks. disruption. Remove yourself. I was Madam talking Madam. to him and them. You out of order. Way out of line. I move that we take a five, ten minute recess. I support it. There's a motion. 
He is removed, but so technically he can't support. Absolutely. Anybody can appeal your ruling at the right time. Your ruling is appeal. Cause you ain't finna mess with my coffee seat with no appeal. Thank you. And I'm gonna sue the hell out of y'all. I'm tired of whatever y'all call yourself doing. I'm gonna do it better. You're not taking my elected seat. He doesn't appeal on the You want Darren to coach you? To remove you. So, is there a second for the appeal to remove Councilman Mays? Thank you, Mr. Davis. You can't the state my appeal. Court. I can state my own. Thank you. You don't state my appeal. Go ahead, Mr. Point of order. Go ahead. Did you hear me state an appeal specifically, or you just decide to state my appeal? You don't state my appeal. You think you're a dictator. When I appeal, you ask what is it. And then you, you don't state my appeal. What do you appeal? You out of order. That's your third one. It removes yourself. Because you don't state my appeal. That's out of order. All these little out of order games, I'm talking to Mr. Gallagher, Ethics Committee. You want to remove me. I ain't studying. Mr. The Mays, appeal you is your order. ruling to try to call police and order me removed. That's what you was on the I phone doing. No you at, you let me state my appeal. And you argue yours later. That's your fourth one that interrupted me. You out of order. Way out of order. Four times and you think you're the only one who can decide if you out of order. I don't care if he grin like a chess cat. This is serious. He know you can't interrupt me. You can't sit still and let people talk in a meeting. You ain't the only council person. You interrupt us repeatedly. I done gave you four one. You done read a rule that they supporting the Fab Five that you can't be out of order. That you can't be out of order. That you've been out of order and I'm appealing that you gonna remove me when you done vote, got them to vote. You can't never be out of order. That's my appeal. Now word that. You want to hear it again, Mr. Winfrey? I'm going to say it again. That chair is out of order, been out of order, interrupting, we appealing. You voting with this group of five that she can't be out of order, but we can lose our seat and get through out because she ruled it. Dead right, you voting wrong. That's my appeal. Ain't going to remove me from my seat. We're talking to Gallagher and and pass the gear, but you got to be a fool. So, State that appeal. No, point of order. What's your point of order? Asking a second, and he then... Me, Mr. Davis seconded it. Not mine, he did, you, he did yours. You can't state my appeal. Everybody in the room know what I'm talking about. That was your fourth one in our order. I state my appeal. Your job is to ask... There's an appeal on the floor that I can't rule Mr. Mays. Um, to lead the meeting. That is my appeal. I stated my appeal. Second. Her motion. Point of order. He out of Mr. Mr. Woodson. You out of order. The Let us handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking about the appeal. Let's handle this business. Ain't talking on what the appeal was. That's the facts. Didn't you dare tell the truth? You did support I the know appeal. what happened. I'm sitting looking at it. You was ignoring it. Don't even know what it was. What's your point of information? Mr. Davis, what appeal did you send? So we can be clear. I didn't clear it. I'm confused. That's the game you played, yo. Y'all confused? That she can move, remove. You ain't running that, Gary. Right. I'm confused. So state the appeal. And then when I said, when I went to state, your job is to state it and answer the second. The last five minutes ranting. No, I ain't ranting, and I'm. Hey, Miss Galloway, that's your fifth one. Quit attacking me and do your job. Those that support. No, we ain't at that point yet. Point of order. No, we ain't. Don't leave anybody, Mr. Mays. Mr. Davis just repeated what he thought he was appealing, and that was your removal from this meeting. He did. Did you say that? I ain't heard that. You put words in his mouth now. He said he wanted you to clear it up. No. Yeah. That's what he did. Yes, he did. We said here, Ms. Galloway, quit making stuff up. I said that Mr. Mays was removed from the meeting. 
He said, you or the police or nobody else can. And then after he said, he, you said a recess, he supported it. My colleagues want to remind us that he doesn't get to um, support anything because he's removed from the meeting. And then you have Bill being removed from the meeting and you support it. And as soon as I went to talk about what, and, we and as soon as I went to repeat what he said, he said, you can't speak for me. You can't because you switched from the second to an appeal on removal. You did that. So you just lined it up. Y'all said that I couldn't second. You went from a, well, We ain't at that point. Point of order. You got discussion on whatever the appeal is. Ms. Galloway, I ain't already none because the appeal has switched twice. Point of order. Let's state the appeal. You don't just say that without Mr. You out of point of order. You out of order. You ain't even state the appeal. I, I, those that oppose. Ah, right, your motion fails. It, it wasn't but four. You didn't vote to remove me? Yes. Oh, okay. So so you are removed technically from I'm going to remove myself. Mrs. I'm going to sue the shit out of y'all. Councilman. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you. Is that on the that. record? Go I'm ahead, I'm going to remove Ms. myself. Madam Clerk. And get sued and monitored for a three-person meeting to take my chair illegally. Yeah, you talk to me and you talk to her. And you're on their side. Y'all think y'all are going to remove me and screw me up? I'm going to be removing you. You talk to me. You talk to her and you talk to her outside of me, your butt going to be removed. Illegal meetings trying to take my championship, done took it, now y'all Now this a should be a five. misdemeanor It can be a misdemeanor, you ain't no judge. That behavior. What's if the behavior? Telling the truth. Reviewing, the you want to review it and you want to arrest The truth is going to hurt. Thank you, Mr. Because I'm leaving telling y'all y'all vote illegally. I don't know if you feel comfortable to go to continue but or if you can adjourn this meeting. Madam, Madam, I'm city attorney. I, I, I want you to witness this. She's already done. You don't control my counsel. See, I'm cooperating. You ain't got the legal power to remove me from my elected seat on both of you. Can still make a motion to recess? I have one item in my, if we can. This is going to be interesting. I'm cooperating with your fool. You ain't got the power to take my elected seat on both of you. Yes. That's why I'm going to win that. God bless y'all, ignorant folks. And you too, her. You going down. Can you bring it to me? Conspire with Monica. And try to took my seat illegally. You going down. I ain't stepping your black. If I could say this often. Then have an illegal meeting outside of me to try to create a monster. There is an ordinance on the agenda, which is an amendment to the ombudsman ordinance. Right. And in that regard, you will get a copy of this. Fighting by the ombudsman, a description that ain't been through the amendment. amendments would be as follows. That's what this is. Under the minimum interest requirements. They, we've added the equivalent. Ain't need no police to remove me. Which I believe we've decided on ourselves. I'm going to sue her, her, baby, daddy, her, talk to her, me, Jerry, and his sister. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 Thank you.